Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and today I'm giving you five reasons why you should be reading every single day. And yes, they're backed by research. So reading is really fun and a lot of people really enjoy reading, it's entertainment, but it can also do so much more for you than just be entertaining. Today we're going to be looking at five specific reasons why you should be looking at reading every single day. It should be a regular part of your life and there are some scientific reasons for as to why. I'll be bringing up some of the research as we go and I'll flash some of those studies on the screen so you can kind of read along with me a little bit. I will also link all of these articles in the description so you can go check them out in a little more depth if you'd like to. First major benefit for reading every day is that it can prevent dementia and Alzheimer's. Now this is something I'd heard before. There's a great research study from the Fisher Center for Alzheimer's that talks about the way that reading as well as some other cognitive tasks can help improve Alzheimer's and dementia. But I really liked this research study that concluded more frequent cognitive activity across the entire lifespan has an association with lower late life cognitive decline. That's like dementia and Alzheimer's, things like that. And so this is a study that they did kind of across especially the last six years of their life but then also even back into when they were kindergarten and kind of what they did across their whole lifespan and they concluded that actually if you read a lot throughout your entire life then you're much less likely to have dementia and that alzheimer's and dementia has a slower rate of growth so you're more likely to live for longer without having to deal with some of the negative side effects of those diseases second benefit for reading is that it makes you more empathetic now this is something that i've also heard very frequently as a cited and there are actually tons of studies on this but i did find one study i thought was really interesting it makes the claim that not only does reading make you more empathetic but specifically reading fiction as opposed to nonfiction, that reading fiction makes you, and I quote, fiction print exposure positively predicted measures of social ability. That is to say that if you read fiction a lot, not only does that make you more empathetic, but it also makes you better at social interactions. It makes you more socially apt. Your intelligence goes up in a, in a positive way because you're a fiction reader. So a lot of people may make the argument that nonfiction is the way to go, but actually fiction has a lot of positive benefits in and of itself. A good mix of fiction and nonfiction may be the right move for you. Third major benefit for reading is that it actually makes you happier. If you read more often, you tend to be happier. There's a great study by Josie Billington at the University of Living Liverpool. She surveyed some 4,000 people and kind of found out a bunch of information. Some of them were readers and some were non-readers. She had a third category called lapsed readers. What she found is that readers in general were less stressed and less depressed than their non-reader or lapsed reader categories. And readers typically had a higher average satisfaction rating, not only for their lives, but also for their self-esteem. People who read more often are actually legitimately happier than people who do not read more often. Another great side effect for reading is that it makes you appear to be smarter because your vocabulary tends to be higher. There are lots of studies on this. Feel free to look for different ones as well. But the one that I found specifically dealt with the way that kindergartners versus fourth graders through eighth and 10th grade, uh, how, how their vocabulary changed over the years based on their reading ability. They say that above average readers experienced a higher rate of vocabulary growth than did average readers throughout their time period in school. This is really important because it means that the, the better you are at reading, the more you read, the more likely you are to have a higher vocabulary. And vocabulary is actually really important. There are other studies that show lots of links to vocabulary and success in life. Uh, those are for another day, obviously, but vocabulary is really important. The last reason you should make sure to be reading a lot is because not only does reading make you appear to be smarter by giving you a higher vocabulary, but it also legitimately actually makes you smarter. There's an amazing study done at Carnegie Mellon that actually proved the first rewiring of white matter in children's brains. They took children who were between eight and 10 and they gave them 100 hours of reading training. And after that 100 hours, they re they scanned their brain again and found they had new white matter. They said the white matter to transmit signals efficiently had increased and testing showed that children could also read better. That shows that simple training in reading can actually rewire a child's brain to make them more intelligent. Another great study by Annie E. Cunningham shows that readers, regardless of their level of reading, whether they're really good readers or not very good readers, it just depends on how much they read. The more you read, the more 
literally the smarter you're meant to be. Here it says the results indicated that the more avid readers in our study, regardless of their general abilities, knew more about how a carburetor worked, were more likely to know who their United States senators are, more likely to know how many teaspoons were equivalent to a tablespoon, they're more likely to know what a stroke was and how the clothes shop at the factory was, etc. One would be hard pressed to deny that at least some of this knowledge is relevant in living in the United States in the late 20th century. That is to say, not only is their IQ higher, but their general knowledge, their ability to know facts, everything is a little bit smarter in these children, again, regardless of their reading level, based on how much they read. Reading legitimately makes you smarter. And there's lots and lots of studies that back this up. These are not isolated incidents, but reading actually makes you smarter. There are tons and tons of reasons to read. And I think that there are so many articles out there that show reading is not a waste of time. While it's enjoyable and can be entertaining, it's also really important for the way our brain functions. And it's very helpful for people in becoming more intelligent, learning vocabulary, becoming more empathetic, and increasing their intelligence in so many different ways. Reading every day is something that I think is vital and should be encouraged as much as possible. If you like today's content, do feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there.